Hello and welcome to Celebrate Living History. This is Bev Wilkinson. Today we meet Chantelle de la Rey, who is leading the digital currency space. It all started with a goal to talk to entrepreneurs over 60. Then, out of curiosity, we decided to talk to entrepreneurs under 30. We believe these two very vast generations can learn and grow from each other. This week, we talk to Chantelle de la Rey, who is part of the team at Amber, one of the most exciting tech firms on the rise. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and what you do? And that is a micro-investing app making digital currencies such as Bitcoin easy for everyday people. We are leading the digital currency space to drive adoption and awareness for digital currencies and their various use cases. And by users will be able to micro-invest into their choice of digital currency, buy, sell, send, store, swap, receive and pay with plenty more features to come. What were some of the struggles you faced when you first started? Trying to do everything and trying to prove my worth to the team. I have learnt trying to do everything does not benefit anyone. It is so important to trust, delegate and work as a team to achieve the ultimate goal. Focusing on what you do best and excelling on those skills builds your accreditation to your team. What do you like most about having your own business? Working on something and being in the role I am truly passionate about. I don't see my business as work, I see it as my passion. I thoroughly enjoy coming to the office, seeing my team, watching them progress, designing, managing the products and the constant learning. Having your own business isn't easy, but it certainly isn't boring. What advice would you give to your younger self? Not to stress about the small stuff. Do what is necessary for you. Stay true to what you want. And for the love of me, stop giving a stuff about what others think. Who is an older person that you admire and why? I do have a few, but one I will focus on is Coco Chanel. For a small woman, Coco had a lot of strength. Her drive and passion gave women the freedom to dress in comfort or for style. Coco gave women around the world an option to express and identify themselves through clothing, Coco started a massive movement towards women's rights. If you could jump into a time machine, what era would you visit and why? 1920s, or should I say the jazz years? I don't know what it is about that era, but I have always been fascinated by it, especially the movement in women's fashion by Coco Chanel, social, artistic and political shifts. That was Chantelle de la Rey, who is part of the team at Amber, one of the most exciting tech firms on the rise. To see her story online, visit us at www.celebratelivinghistory.com.au. This is Bev Wilkinson speaking. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.